Hey guys, I'm Nick in the States, and today I wanted the holidays are coming. The holidays are coming. Yay! T shirts, t shirts. Join my Instagram. Links for those are both below, or take a look at Instagram. Try and keep that up. I don't know how to Instagram, but I'm learning. <laughs> the t shirts also, the link will be below. Um, we're working on adding some more stuff there. Okay, promotional stuff aside, let's talk Christmas time. Um, so I got a bunch of different guitars and things that I've been looking at for Christmas and wanted to share it to you guys. Um, and some of these are, you know, friends of the channel, like Michael Kelly Guitars or Harley Benton or Bad Cat. Some of these are just cool guitars that I like. A couple of these are massively expensive aspirational things. Um, and yeah, and a cab, an amp, some stuff like that. Anyway, this is what I'm thinking. Just some cool ideas here. Send me back yours in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what else you guys are looking at this holiday season, what you think would be cool for people to get. If you're looking at this video, go read the comments because there's going to be a bunch more crap down there too, hopefully, because uh, I have the best subscribers on the planet. Okay, so <clears throat> first off, um, for my friends at Michael Kelly Guitars, um, this is their like blue jean fade T style, Telly style um, guitar. It's got a mini hum in the neck, which is awesome because they don't get too muddy. And like articulate, and then a full old big honkin' Rockfield uh, humbucker in the bridge. Um, they're like five bills. There's only one left right now, so um, buy up the last one. But if you look at some of the pictures of them, they're just gorgeous. You look at the ash on the back and the grain, and Michael Kelly does great, great stuff. Their personal website is actually a little um, store is a little thin at the moment. Um, so, uh, but this one's actually still in stock, so really cool. Moving to the next one. Um, Epiphone has come out with a couple series of Koa, um, like a Les Paul Custom. I think they even have a, 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 a Koa Explorer and a V. Moving on, Epiphone actually has a Koa Pro Les Paul Custom, which has Pro Buckers in it, a Koa Top. Just a really cool looking, and they actually, it's nice, it's got a, the rosewood neck really works for the Koa Top there. I think these are just like simplistically gorgeous guitars. Um, if you look at some of the pictures <clears throat> down below, it's just, it's nice. There are the, the full specs. Someone wants to read and pause the video. Um, but you can see the Pro Bucker 2, Pro Bucker 3, 4 wire, coil tappable, mahogany, figured Koa. Really cool stuff. I have a Les Paul Custom Pro, the limited edition TV Pelham Blue. Um, and it's a really cool guitar. It nails a lot of different tones. It's super versatile. Um, and I, I like how Epiphone every year or so does these custom colors, whether it was TV Silver, TV Pelham. They had like, last year was kind of a garish blue, like bright blue. Um, and then this year it looks like they're doing Koa across their line. So there's a few of them. I figured I'd highlight this one. Um, kicking over to the Gibson realm of the world, the 2017 Gibson Les Paul Custom Special. They go for like 700 bucks. If you have a coupon and go talk to Guitar Center on your own, um, put the coupon in 15% off, that's like another 100 bucks off. So you can get them for basically $600. I think they come with a gig bag. What's neat is it's a, you know, maple neck, um, very cool guitar. Here we go. So before we, we get to the deals, it's a mahogany body, mahogany top, so no maple top. Um, maple neck um, comes with. Double slug DSC rhythm and DSC plus lead pickups. They're all passive. There's no piezos or any funky things like that. Um, but what's neat is it's just kind of a cool looking guitar. It's a different take on a Les Paul. It's kind of like what PRS did with their S2 series with how it's kind of a just a partial car. Um, but I think it looks really cool. I haven't heard, uh, I've heard a couple reviews of it. It's got like a wraparound badass style bridge. It's just a nice humbucker inexpensive way to get still a gloss body um and really you know kind of cool we like it um so check those guys out um i'll put a link down to the guitar centers uh, this page uh, so you can take a look um it's hard to find actually on gibson site also from the big g and from the big g at a cheap price is the firebird um zero and anytime you're going to start with something in a bright blue, you kind of have me hooked. Add a little bit of the, um, you know, the perloid pickguard action. Two humbuckers um, from the, we'll take a look at that. Also, like the previous one, it's got a maple neck. Um, 
super super cool looking um you know it's a non-reverse firebird i guess so and uh you know it's a it's a f the neck's not ang angled at all so you can use a, a nice low profile bridge like once again a, a badass style bridge on this guy um bigger specs here if you're really interested you can pause it has those same ds-c and ds-c lead as the previous one um five bills for a gloss gibson is really really a good deal um and i wouldn't be surprised if you saw one of these show up somewhere on my channel some point in the future um yeah very 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 cool guitar um it just looks neat, and if you wanted to sling around a humbuckerish guitar that's different, I don't know. I really dig this. You know, once again, if you go to Guitar Center and can get it for fifteen percent off, or Musician's Friend, you're seventy-five bucks less than that. So that's that. Next, we're moving up market, um, and this is a Duesenberg Star Player Special. I was reading, watching reviews for the Duesenberg stuff, and uh, this one happens to be a bolt neck. But everybody who plays them, everybody who likes them, is just really floored by it. And this is the bottom of their line. Um, and it's like eleven, twelve hundred dollars dollars a little over 1,000 euro plus VAT. Um, but they just, everything I've read on them is that they just play awesome. When you play them, they make all their own hardware. Um, they're really, really cool. You know, if I'm going to go into a Duesenberg, though, I probably wouldn't go to the bottom line. I probably would go something outrageous like the Mike Campbell signature. And I'm not big on buying signature guitars, but it's like a metallic cobalty blue with white racing stripes. Come on! <laughs> you know, like a, a Shelby Cobra or a um, Vipers did them in this, in this finish too. They're awesome, but th this is the bigger one. So it's a semi-hollow arch top, arch back. I like it because it has a P90 style on the neck and a humbucker on the bridge. It's got a Bigsby style trim on it that are supposed to be supple and wonderful um and just bound neck all the fixins twenty four hundred dollars it's a huge amount of money um i'm not buying it this year this year's special guitar was my 76 Les ball custom black beauty which is my happy birthday to me which actually my birthday was this week so happy birthday to me yay um it's actually why i didn't get a lot of chance to do videos it's been a busy week so we're doing some of the easier videos which is looking at cool stuff all around guitardom um so yeah, so this is, uh, I really like the Mike Campbell <laughs> star player. Um, if I can find one at a reasonable price sometime over the next year, 12, 14 months, something like that, I will, uh, there's a good chance I'd, I'd pick one up. Next is one that I did reviews for, and you guys actually, it's been a very popular video, is the the TE90 FLT, um, you know, the, 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 the TV Jones kind of, Carbonita, Carbonita kind of. You can see the basic specs there, um, 22 frets, uh, it's a 25 and a half inch fender scale, has uh, Roswell, El Nico humbuckers, and has some really good regular parts on it. I believe it's an ash body with a Canadian maple neck. Um, I I really love, for, of the guitars I bought this year, this is probably one of the most surprising ones because I had high expectations for what I wanted it to be, and um, and it exceeded them. Um, it's it's really one of my favorite guitars to pick up and grab, um, yeah. And Delamar Gut, somebody really liked it. Um, <laughs> cool. And for 160 bucks US, it's uh, it, it 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 bats way way above its weight. Um, next, uh, I have way too many Les Paul style guitars. If I was going to buy a Nova one right now and to be a little bit different, I would get the SC Custom Lemon Flame. I think um, Benton and their factories do a great job on this finish. I love the contrast between the amber top and a cherryish back. Um, so um, super cool Grover tuners on it. It's got a little volute to the neck. It's got, I think this is the Wilkinson humbucker still. Yep. Um, there are the specs right there. They're, um, I think it's a classy looking guitar. If you're in that market for, you know, under 200 euro, 200 bucks, 175 bucks, whatever, it's, it's a great deal. <clears throat> All right, next is the HB35 Plus Vintage Burst. I really enjoyed my HB35. Um, I kind of got it on a lark. It was for a buddy of mine who was kind of on the fence with it. They didn't, uh, he ended up not keeping it. So I uh, I uh, ended up selling it to a guy on one of the A-Guitar forums. Aside from the pick guard, which I really don't like. Um, 
these were really cool. Now the 35 plus, which is, which I didn't have has the, um, coil split coil tappable stuff. It has, um, Wilkinson hardware. It has good deluxe tuners. It's got, um, Wilkinson pickups in it and it's a triple A flame top, which you can't really see in the picture here. If I zoom in, you can barely see it. But in the videos I've seen for people who have gotten them, either this or in the lemon burst version, which I think is right here. Um, you can see that they're they're. It's a good looking guitar if you want a slightly smaller than a three thirty five, um, style one. They also have it in a cherry kind of deal, and with these have the block inlays, kind of really sweet stuff. There you go with the the description there, and still under two hundred bucks. Um, they're gonna be back in in December. Um, so if you're interested, you have to wait a little bit for them, but pretty cool. Um, I skipped them in my left-handed video, so I made sure I call them out here. Now for those that want a little more edge to their stuff, I think I've said it before, but I love the Extreme 76, which is, you know, their take on a on an Explorer-style guitar. This has the cheap hardware, so everything in it is no-name hardware, no-name tuners. Um, but for the price, you know, it's 125 bucks. US, uh, 116 euro before VAT. It's just a cool guitar. I'm sorry. And if you want to rock out or if you're in your teens and want to look metal, like that's awesome. And the people who've got them really like them. They, um, you know, do some pickup swaps, do some, you know, upgrades with it over time, but it's still a pretty darn good guitar out of the box. Similarly, you know, if you're in the market for one of those, you really want to go nuts, you can get a V. I think um, Corey Mura, Corey Mura's channel, awesome. Go check it out. He just ordered one of these, and the pack, the box got damaged on uh, on the way there. So uh, he's still waiting a little bit for getting more, a little bit time to to do a review on it. But um, also really cool guitar. If you're gonna go, you know, once again, if you want to go wild, that's a cool guitar to go wild with. If you really want to go wild, um, they have the Victory Flame, which hey, you know, why go halfway? If you're gonna go full on wild, go nutty for 132 bucks. I'm sure you can't piss off your parents or guitar traditionalists anymore or any more for less money than this. Um, I think it's really, really cool. Uh, so anyway, figured I'd call that out. It's uh, it's short money to go a little bit nutty. All right, next up from our buddies at Bad Cat Instruments is their Unicorn. And every time I go to their site to look at, check and see what's in there or if someone had a question, I'm drawn back to this guitar with that beautiful, like transparent water finish. Um, it's kind of a similar finish to that Chipson guitar I got a while back, um, but just gorgeous. And if you look at, um, you know, it's just with that natural, light natural back. Their stuff is great. Their their price that's shipped to you from China. Um, they take a little while this time of year. Probably I'd budget like six weeks. Um, hopefully it'll come a little bit sooner. Um, and they um, for all you southpaws out there, they do offer these in lefties. Um, I did a lefty video. Not all these guitars I'm showing you now are available for lefty. Sorry, dudes. I did a lefty video earlier this week for um, just kind of a what Harley Benton. And um, victory, uh, no, vintage guitars I had for lefties. But anyway, Bad Cat's got a lot of different cool guitars in different colors and finishes. Um, they're all relatively short money. Um, and even uh, Fender style guitars. I love, this is the other one that I love. Um, and I'm hoping actually at some point to get one of these. It's kind of a Gretchacaster or a Chetacaster. Um, flame, flame top, flame back. Just gorgeous. Got the comfort cutaway or the little bit of the deluxe style deal. The Gretsch style inlays on it. Has a really cool head sock if you look down below. Um, there's a specs on it. It's a Gibson scale too, which is really cool. Uh, Billy Gibbons does that on his guitars. But you just look at that and it's just, it's just pretty. Um, so this is, this is my next guitar from these guys that I have a whole lot of want and love for. Um, Anywho, that's that. Now, moving away from, uh, you know, new guitars, going into the, the cabs for amps. I love guitar heads because they're smaller. They ship cheaper. They're a little easier to buy from all over the world, um, or at least all over the States. You need a good cab, though, and you're not going to find a better deal for a 2x12 vintage cab, or vintage cab, meaning it's got um, Celestian Vintage 30s in it, so it has great speakers in it out of the box. I have the 1x12. Still kind of kick myself that I didn't buy the 2x12. So every time I come back here when I see it for under 200 bucks, um, 
Yeah, and it's still only $35 to ship to the U.S., and you can usually sh throw another guitar in there, too, and, and the guitar would then ship for free. Um, you, really, you're not going to get a better deal for that. You can push the hell out of it. I think it'll do uh, 120 watts um, in 8 ohms um, or 2 by 60 in 16 ohms. So it's, uh, it's and there are the specs that are there. It's just great. It's got industrial strength handles. It's a closed back 2 by 12 cab. Um, it's made of 16 millimeter plywood. Uh, I'm sure it's not going to be as nice as like your super, super high end caps, but for the money, it's a fantastic deal. You can lug this to gigs. You can put this in a practice space. You can do whatever. Um, I, one of these days, I'll just get off the fence and, and buy one of these. Um, amps, there's actually one of these for sale locally on Craigslist used for under $400. That's killing me right now because <laughs> I just don't have the money for it. Um, but a DSL-40C, you can do no wrong with. It actually has a pretty good clean channel. Takes pedals like a champ. Does that martial tone. Awesome. Um, it's just a really cool amp. And uh, and so I, I, I dig those. They're, they're a lot of money new. You can probably get them in your region. They've sold a ton of them. If they have a, a weakness, it's the speaker. Some, those 7080s take a while to break in. Um, there have been some special edition ones that came out that had creambacks. From the factory, I actually think through Sweetwater, um, a creamback or a vintage thirty swap in it apparently makes a big difference. And there's also a, a tone, a small mod where you can snip a single wire inside, which um, a lot of the traditionalists like the tone of that better than it comes stock out of the box. But even stock, it's a really cool amp. Um, next, friend of the channel, um, friend of the the guitar forums, you probably if you're like me, you have way too many guitars, but you have a few that have some subpar performance. Um, so Tim over at Buddha Pickups, they, uh, Hunter Agufish did a cool shark bite set, put him on his guitars. I think he did a couple videos uh, for Tim. Awesome, awesome guy. Does custom run hand wound stuff, does gold foil stuff. If you, you know, wiring harnesses, I have had a couple of his wiring harnesses. Um, the P94s in just an awesome looking case. So they got that Epiphone Lee Malia look. He does fantastic work. He's universally loved and his prices are super cheap so if you've got a couple guitars there that you like but don't love um you need to give them a little bit of a gumption in the pickup thing really you could do much much worse than go and check out tim over at buddha pickups um all right so now two things ebay with the rest where i spend the rest of my time is hunting on ebay for deals and steals um my uh my buddy jeff actually got one of these it's a sonics deluxe and it's a it's a blasphemous guitar from gibson in that it's a bolt neck um, from the early eighties. Um, but I played it and they have, I think the dirty fingers pickups in them, in them. And it's, it's a clean guitar. It actually looks, you know what? The shape of it is pretty much identical to the new, um, the custom specials without the custom specials just have a set neck and don't have that giant ass guard. But really the rest of the shape is there. This is the origin of the species. Um, but what's awesome is these pickups growl and it's a mean guitar that wants to hurt you. Um, and that's what I love about it. It's it's just a fantastic hard rock guitar. And they did make a couple runs of these that had set necks, um, uh, which is probably not this one. But um, they did a few runs of these that have set necks in them too. And and people really, really dig them. All the normal Gibson scale stuff, all that's the same, 24 and 3 quarter inches. But they're built like tanks. They typically at this point already have a little bit of wear to them. <laughs> And you can just rock out with them. They're awesome. And you're getting into a, a, a real deal, early 80s Gibson, for, you know, 550, uh, 700, 600, 550, for in the, the mid, the, right in the channel range, right in the $500 range, give or take a little. Um, now, the next thing I'm going to show you, and it's, I think it's the last one that we have for the video, caution. So for us in the States, we have a pretty good exchange rate with Japan. Um, and so you've seen me get a Greco, I got an, an Edwards, um, soon you're going to see some, um, an Orville and, uh, and a Bernie on the channel. And it, some of these guitars, these lawsuit era guitars are sneaking into the States because you can buy them cheap and still get them here. And also shipping from Japan to me was like two or three days. It's for the, it's ex expensive or it's included in the price, but it was expensive included in the price, but like two or three days is fast. Um, so Ukini, Ukini, which is the, my favorite word to say every time I go there, is my favorite seller in Japan. Um, I bought one guitar from my buddy. Danny's bought at least one. Um, 
and some of the stuff, like the Fender Japan stuff, his prices are good but not ridiculous on. But then you get to like early 80s Bernie's, you know, which is a made in Japan, pretty accurate copy, gorgeous set neck. And what's great about Okuni-san is that he gives you so many pictures. So when you're buying remote and you're worried about seeing something like that, you can figure out why the price is, is what it is. He's He takes just documents everything really awesome. Um, he has weird crap, like a champ jazz master series with a built-in amp. Interesting. Um, but you get to stuff like this for like, people saw my Edwards like, that's a crazy price. This is a little more than I paid for my Edwards. Um, but look at that top. Um, and really, really gorgeous. So then if you go down, there's where okini has done all of his other pictures for it. So, you know, I love my Edwards. That's an 06. You know, this one looks clean. It has a little bit of a bite there. But in often the stuff that they're selling to, for export might have a couple, little bit of wear and tear, a scratch or whatever. The Japanese tend to like stuff super perfect. Um, this guitar is the one that was why I actually was going to share this. This is an early 80s Bernie. So it's got the full diamond inlay in the headstock. It's got, um, uh, I think this one's had a pickup swap for at least one of them. But if you look at like, I've played one of these. I'm going to do a demo on the channel for one of these in the near future. It feels just like a, a like a '70s Gibson or even an older Gibson. It just is a tank. Feels like quality. Plays so well. Have nice necks on them. Um, so and he's got a, a a bunch more. You want um, Greco bolt neck stuff, Epiphone Japan stuff, and Epiphone Japan stuff's nice because it's got the full headstock. It's not the cheesy little American Epi or the American market Epiphone headstocks on them. Um, so I come here very often to see what's changed. Um, here's an early Edwards that has the diamond on the headstock. Get a better picture there. Like, come on, man. That is awesome. So, uh, yeah, Ukini will, 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 will suck your soul. Um, here's a couple in the best way. You know, six and change for a, a Edwards tobacco burst and 678 for this cherry costume which is just great and we'll leave that up as we finish this out the it's he just does good stuff um he gives you lots of pictures he sells stuff quick i you know no he hasn't paid or asked me i've never actually had a conversation about my channel with him but this is the place i go to just drool and contemplate um because the market's in a great spot to be able to get the guitars from there for at least close to the 500 hundred dollar range that we put the channel on here um but they're great aspirational pieces and they are tremendous guitars so anyway, that's the stuff that I've been looking at recently, the, the cool things, um, and uh, hopefully you found something interesting in there. As always, folks, I've been Nick in the States. I have issues. Take care.